Hi everybody, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts and uh, today we're going to decorate this cameo wall pack. Um, I'm doing a voiceover um, just because it's my time to do the voiceover basically. So as you can see I'm adding um, this artist uh, paint to the cameo. Um, the colour is chocolate. Um, I'm just using one of those little dishes that I got from Fiona from Jennings Crafts Boutique. In fact, the art, the paint's from Fiona as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry if you can hear the traffic outside, but it's quite warm and I've had to have the window open. I had to put the windows open. Sorry. So, um, yeah, so we're just painting um, the plaque, which is made out of like a, I think it's like an air dry um, clay. So it's quite porous. I actually like the effect that uh, this ape gave um, the plaque. I gave it two coats, and then I decided I wanted it to have the, um, you know, the uh, crackle effect. So I used the PVA glue again and uh, painted over the plaque. It looks like quite sort of pooey colour at the moment. Not that I, you know, check out what colour my poo is. Excuse me, but oh dear, yeah, so <laughs> just too much information for you, I know, but you know, what you see is what you get. Uh, so I'm just adding the PVA to the plaque. Um, I'm doing this obviously voiceover after uh, the project is uh, completed, and I'll talk you through, you know, what I liked and what I didn't like. So that's the uh, glue added. I did dry it a little bit with my um, heat gun um, and around the face part it dried quicker than I wanted it to. So once I added the white gesso on top of it um, and then put the heat gun on it again it didn't crackle as much as I wanted it to. So um, and I'll talk you through what I tried to do to recover you know from that which um, you know. so that's it painted so I'm just going to um, air dry the uh, I might have already air dried it I'm not sure um, all right yeah so I already air dried it and uh, not air dried it heat gun dried it and I didn't it didn't crackle as much as I wanted it to which basically for whatever reason, maybe I overheat, uh, dried it, the, the glue underneath it, just whatever reason it didn't crackle as much as I wanted it to, so I didn't get the effect of the chocolate paint sort of coming through, um, you know, the uh, plaque as I wanted to, so what I did was I got a uh, sanding block and just finely sort of sanded around the edges, um, just to sort of make it look a little bit more. distressed and what I should have done was just left it there but I didn't <laughs> because I still in my head I, I still wasn't getting the effect I was going for or that I was you know I wanted it sort of I wanted to not do sort of like a shabby sheep type project so I wanted to do sort of like a vintage type project which I do like doing as well but um, yeah. and I, I do like mixed media but I'm not as good as the mixed media side of it is that like Fiona says I'm a natural shabby chic person well I think Fiona's a natural mixed media person hands down she's brilliant so, but I do like to you know have a little play and uh, so I was just using the sanding block all over the flat yeah. and it was giving me sort of like an aged look and I should have just sort of left it there uh, I didn't. We'll, we'll see what I went on to do in a moment. I never get this uh, voiceover thing right. I bought a new microphone to put into my laptop um, to do make the voiceover clearer. Um, my voice is a bit croaky today, but unfortunately, because my laptop's got a joint mic and headphone socket not separate I had to buy an adapter 
in order to plug them plug the mic thing in and the USB power for the mic. So I bought that and then plugged it in, but because my both my USB and the uh the adapter were so close together I couldn't have them both plugged in at the same time. So now I've had to go and buy a USB hub so I can <laughs> So that won't be here till tomorrow. So in the end I thought, Do you know what? I'm just gonna uh you know, do the voiceover via my laptop's um, microphone and just, you know, just hope, hopefully that will be alright. This is funny. I'll get it right in the end. And the reason, one of the reasons why I'm doing the voiceover, I'm a little bit flat at the moment, only there's been so much going on and I don't normally get involved or talk about it um, in the crafting community. community. So I just, uh, yeah, so I wanted to try and be a little bit more upbeat. Right, so there you go. So that's the effect I was, I should have left it at that, but I didn't. I then went on and want, this is antique gold, I believe. Yeah, antique gold. Oh, heirloom gold. Um, perfect pearls mist. And I wanted to sort of like give it a, I thought if I give it sort of like a nice shimmer of, um, like gold on it, it would then obviously make it look more vintage. But what it actually did, oh, I'm really sorry, that's a, it's been day today, and just as I started filming, they decided to come by and, uh, the lorries to collect the bin. Yeah, so anyway, what I was saying, I sprayed, I did spray this, but it, it, and what, I, again, what I should have done was just left it at one layer, but I did add another layer. And it, it pulled a bit too much, it, it didn't give it sort of like an overall shimmer, what it did was sort of, gave it like a dirty droplet look so I'd almost gone backwards in, in the effect that I wanted which really frustrated me so I you know I wasn't quite sure I'm I you know I don't not sh I have done some things to fix it now it's completely finished um that I do like a bit better and I'll, again I'll explain that at, at the end and uh, yeah, I did add, I had two spritzes of it like I said, I should have just left it as the white and the just another swig of coffee. <clears throat> Sorry, because my throat's a bit goggy. So the kids went back to school today. They're all Toby's in year eight, so that's really cool. So I'm just drying it with a dryer. Clearly, because you can see I'm drying with a dryer. With a dryer. <laughs> I, I mean, I suppose sort of looking at it, it does look quite sort of, you know, sort of dirty and vintagey and something that was, you know, I like that. But it's, and I did add another layer of the, the gold, the Ellen gold. So. But like I said, I should have think I should have just left it. Because what what happens now that I spray the uh, Ellen Gold onto it, it's sort of hidden, or it's made the um, image of the, of the girl, the cameo of the girl, look more flat. So really hard to make out. So um, so she sort of got lost and. You know, in the sort of like mix of the mediums that I was using, which is maybe if I'd have just sprayed her and not the the outside of it, that probably would have been um, a better option. There we go. We do what we do. I mean, it's given it a nice sort of shimmer to it, and also it helps to uh, coat the. Uh, the white. There's lots of layers on that back now. <laughs> yeah. so I'm just patting it with my fingers to see whether it's going to dry. And just to let you guys know, my my fingers are so much better now. Although I have lost nearly half of my nail on my thumb, my right hand thumb, due to the uh, the infection I had, dermatitis infection I had. So. Uh, but yeah, they are so much better. At least I can craft now, whereas before I couldn't craft. Right, so what am I doing now? What am I doing? Now? I think I'm going to do this. 
think I'm going to start adding a leg. I'm just going off to get some lace bits, I think. Oops, yeah. So I'm just going off to get some cream lace trims to, uh, to decorate sort of like round the outside of it. And so I've got this gathered lace. Now it's, it is gathered, but it's not as gathered as I wanted it to be. Um, but it's the right colour that I wanted. And it is, it makes lovely flowers this thing. But, um, so what I did was I added my finger thumb so I could push the, uh, when I put the hot glue down I could then squeeze the, the sort of like the lace together so it gathered and just a little bit more. So I'm just... right, and if you're anything like me, you put the finger protectors on one hand and then use your other hand to do, do the pushing together but now 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 you can see me sort of like just squishing it together just to get it to gather a little bit more again sorry if you can hear the traffic outside I live on the main road, which, although it's, I live in a village, it's a main road that leads to the school, so it's quite busy. Right, so I've completely added the lace to the back of the plaque now. I'm just finishing off the last little bit, just overlapping it so, you know, there's no sort of join showing. Yeah. And I even adding this lace sort of, you know, it does help. Um, although not a lot, I, I I will be totally honest, I hate how the plaque turned out, I really don't like it. But I decided I'm going to put the video up because, you know, I wanted you guys to see that, you know, that sometimes, you know, we make things that we're not happy with. And But the good thing about crafting is, is I can go back in and um, add, try and sort of do something to, which is actually what I did later on. Once I think a day later I went back and... Uh, now this trim, I love this trim. Now this trim was gifted to be, gifted to be, gifted to me by a friend of mine, and her name is, I'll just tell you, Rebecca Stover Smoggy. Um, she, I was looking for this trim, and I, I put a message up saying, oh, if anyone sees this trim, could they, I'll be happy to pay for it, and could they get it for me? But she very, very kindly sent it to me as a gift, and she got me this colour on a, on a, um. A card and uh, like a dusky pink, so yeah, I love it and it's you know it, it's absolutely brilliant for fabric books and for you know going round as a um uh, you know like a, a statement around an image or around a like like the plaque. So there we go, we're just finishing up, adding this trim, and it does, it looks fab, because you can still see the, uh, you know, the gathered trim underneath, but this just frames it perfectly. So yeah, I loved how that turned out. So thank you again Rebecca for gifting that to me, I so appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm looking at it now because I'm still not happy with them, and it's really annoying annoying me. <laughs> you cannot feel my frustration through the camera. Um, so again, I try to sort of like bring out the uh, image a bit more or even sort of like dull dull the, the sort of muddy look that I had of it by adding some this snow text which I love I do use it a lot but it and it's great for giving like a textured sort of like I, I was then trying to go for more like a concrete film so I 
feel. So I thought, well, if I add that, maybe it will sort of tone down a little bit the, um, the sort of muddy look that I created on the. Uh, yeah, look again, that's out. Wasn't that a little bit? And uh, like I said, I do use snow text a lot, but it's brilliant. I just stick the finger in there and just tap it in there. And it dries quite quickly as well, so and it gives you that sort of concrete effect. You can make your own snow text actually, just use some, uh, you can make some um, like concrete paste the same way that you make your, um, you know, when it your paste for your mask. Just add a little, a little bit of fine sand. So now I've just got a selection of flowers out. Still not happy with um, the uh, the frame. I still can't really see the image. It's very sort of muddied out still. So, but I just I thought I'm just going to go on and add some flowers and see whether adding the flowers or what I should have done was just added the flowers to the hole in the middle of the in the middle of the cameo. Just to cover it, my disaster up. But no. so these flowers are more sort of like uh, you know, vintage sort of looking flowers, are in browns and creams and sort of goldy colours, rather than normal pinks, pale blues, and that that I use. So I normally start off with the bigger flowers, and then I will go on and add fillers and some maybe some sprays and. I'm just adding a few little gold buds here. Just cut them under. I can slide them in underneath. I loved how the flowers went on. I know, you know, I really, really liked how, how they took how the size of it turned out. And uh, So sort of like overall, the outside of the plaque I absolutely love. It's just the inside of the plaque I detest. <laughs> but like I said, I thought I'd just share with you that you know sometimes we do make things that we don't like. I'll add a photograph of the end at the end of what I then did. Although I'm still not happy with it, and I probably added way too much try and sort of fix or make me feel happier about you know the project that I've made I always get a feeling if I'm happy with the project you know it's, it's not about being big-headed or anything like that it's just about you know it's about sort of like my artistic feel I think and when you make something if I it could be just as I'm making something I'll be adding it adding things to it and I'll and it could be just one little thing that makes a total difference and it, I know you guys as crafters know exactly what I mean that you could be making something it could be okay you know and you just think there's just that one little thing that you could add it could be a bow it could be a flower or it could be a you know a metal piece or something that you can add to it that sort of changes the whole look of it but it just makes it in your eyes that you're happy with it Because I wasn't happy with the plaque, the plaque. Um, it was just I was just sort of adding, trying to improve it, and I don't, I didn't get that feeling when I completed it that I was satisfied with what I'd created, which I don't like. I really don't like it. So I, I'm, I'm sure I will give you an update of how I, of you know how I. I should possibly try to rectify it, I don't know. Even in a future date because it'll just annoy me. And I don't want to sort of spend all this time making it to end up filling it. But like I said, I was happy with the placement of the flowers. I think, you know, the flower placement I really like.
and these I think that's the black flower and I don't normally use black flowers and I haven't really got that many but I, like I said I wanted to give it that sort of vintage feel Now some of these flowers I've got from Fiona Jennings exhibit store which is Jennings Crafts Boutique at Zibit that or backslash Zibit I'll leave the link down below and also some of them are from um, I have a craft up subscription that they, they normally put in a selection a small very small selection of flowers um, so I use some of those as well at one of my themed boxes and then also some from my stash but I do get a lot of my flowers from and oh, laces and that sort of thing I think there's, I also add some prima flowers to it as well I didn't add the flowers to the whole of way around the um, back because I still wanted that lace and that scallop trim to be seen. So I added, I sort of gave it a balance of, you know, some on what like like a diagonal going across. And I think at the end of video um like i said by no means do i feel like this is finished purely because i'm not happy with it and I, like i said i did go back the next day to try and uh, you know sort of change it a little bit which i did and i was a little bit happier but it's still not i'm not 100 percent which which does happen you know we all Sometimes we make stuff and people say, oh, you know, it's fab, it's great, but... Now, I was just taking off some tassel trim because I thought, well, what I'm going to do is add to the back at the bottom some maybe some, um, you know, some dangle. I do like a little bit of dangle. Um, which I could have done, but I just think it just... It, I didn't like, so I decided not to in the end. So I'm just going to add some... Prima flowers. What have I got here? I've got oh, well, oh yeah, I added some prima butterflies and some of the like frosted prima flowers. So I added two of the butterflies to each sort of flower cluster, which I quite liked. I do love. You can actually make the those butterflies yourself, which I've done before. You can you can make them out of uh, with a flower with a butterfly punch using you know like speciality papers which are, um, like the mouldy type paper and this I glitter to them or you can make them out of paper or I've also made them out of um, flowers you know the flowers the, the the white flowers that you can spritz on I sort of chopped them up and made them into butterflies I've done that before. Okay, so I've added the two butterflies. I think I'm going to, yes, I'm going to add a couple of those prima flowers as well. They're from the cartographer set. Things. I'm just going to add the leaves. Those, that lovely sort of tone. Just trying to figure out where I'm going to add them there. <laughs> Now this plaque has got like a little pin at the back of it that's been sort of stuck into the plaster. Now I can either use that or I can also, what I might do is just add a little ribbon um, to hang it on the wall. not quite sure where I'm going to hang it because it doesn't go in my bathroom. I might just add it to, um, I've got, um, I've opened a group with Fiona Jennings. Where we're, where the 
going to do exclusive kits and also any of our crafty makes that we want to um, sell. So once I've, I'm happy with it, I might just put it on there because I've got nowhere really that it goes in my house. My, my living room's all done out in teal and my bedroom's all pink, so not really anywhere. I just fancied making something sort of vintage looking. Um, which, you know, my fabric books are normally very vintage looking. In fact, I I, I do do the shabby sheet look, fabric books, but or lace books, but when I do the vintage ones, they they are they I you know they they turn out fab, but I'm still looking at it and thinking I'm I'm not happy with the. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. So what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to use. My bow maker, deco fun. Yeah, there we go. There's my deco fun bow maker. I'm going to add to the bottom plaque a uh, bow with some cream ribbon. Just a single bow today. I've just gone off to get the uh, the satin, cream satin ribbon. Should have edited that bit out, but I must have missed it. But there we go. Back in two seconds, I'm sure I will. Come on, Wendy, hurry up, come back. Hey, where's it gone? There we go, I'm coming back. I know I'm coming back because the table's jiggling. Right, so that's the cream ribbon. So I'm going to uh, use that to create a bow to go on the bottom of the plaque. Right, my notification from my eye pinging away. But this is never. I'd have to go to locked padded room to get no sound effects from the outside. So um, I always, when I'm the deco from bow maker, it is a brilliant bow maker, and um, it is so easy to use. Um, but I'm a little bit, I I always forget how I start off. It's just my fibro brain. So you put it through, but I put it through the front peg for what you needed. I did it. I was doing it back to front, basically, and I needed it to do it the other way around. Otherwise, I was, I was going to get tangled up again. But I do realise what I'd done and uh, take it out and start again. But like I said, I left it in. It just wanted to show that I was. My brain's ticking now, thinking, right, okay, I'm not quite done it right here. Why aren't my both my ties facing frontwards properly? <laughs> so I, there you go. I've taken it off again, and I think, right, okay, let's start again. So there we go. That's how you start off. That's so much easier. Oh dear. So we're just doing a figure of eight. And, uh, there we go. That's it. As simple as that. That's how simple it is. And today I'm just thinking about how long I want my sort of tie bits done. So I'm just shortening the other side, which would be my left hand side, which is your right hand side. Looking at it. Uh, I'm just getting a bit of lace trimmed to put the tie in the middle. I'm not quite sure what I was trying to do. I don't know whether I was trying to bring both the ties around the front so they were both, but it doesn't matter anyway because once you tie the little bit, it, 
in the middle, it does that anyway, so I don't quite know what I was going to do. Oops, You can hear, I don't know if you can hear in the background, this is all the noise of the village life. Someone's using a hammer drill some. <laughs> We've got some new neighbours, my new neighbours have moved in, so. Yeah. They've got four little rescue dogs. Um, but they're not noisy, I can hear them every now and again, but nothing. You know, that you would think four dogs would make a lot of noise, but they don't. Right, so I'm just adding the bow to the bottom of the black. Just having a bit of a fiddle with it. And then I realised that, that the bow was hiding my butterfly, which uh, I was trying to sort of like push the butterfly so it's just in front of the bow but it, it just bent the wings so I thought I just left it and left it behind. Maybe I should have put that butterfly at the top end as well but I'd already put the butterfly on the other side on the top end so I wanted to have it sort of like the opposite so opsies I'm a bit of a you know trying to get the balance. <laughs> oh no I no actually I did uh, add that butterfly to the bottom so yeah I could have I might even move it when I try and, you know, sort out, or if I try and sort out that, right. see, I'm still looking at it and I'm not happy. <laughs> You've, you'll see me do this a lot throughout the whole of it, you know, this whole video has been me just looking at it and thinking, nah, nah, I'm not liking it. What I should have done was just painted it with chocolate, maybe and just use my finger to sort of add some white, you know. Now this trim is from uh, Trezor's Deluxe um, that I got a little bit left over. No, actually, this one I bought from Trezor's and um, it's from my stash. Get off your phone, woman. Why am I on my phone? Get off the phone. There we go. I'm off my phone now. <laughs> yeah, so. I've stuck one on already, one of these little tassels, so I'm just adding another one because I think they go really nicely in the middle of the flower. And then I, I, I sort of, you know, what I'll probably do is I'll add a, either a bling, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and I think I find these little organs of flowers that were on some pegs that I got from Fiona Jennings from Jennings Craft Boutique and I took them off the pegs because I can redecorate the pegs, but I wanted the little rosette flowers. So I added the cream one. They had a white one on the peg and a cream one, and I um, used the cream one. So I do love how the outside and the, the flowers and everything turned out. I do really like that. It's just a shame about the middle. <laughs> uh, but it's just my own personal. Really I, mean, I don't know why I keep sort of patting it, thinking if I pat it, it's going to improve the middle. But, uh, yeah, it didn't. Not for me, anyway. So I do add a little bit of the, um, some little, like, little tiny cream pearls, sort of around. That This is me, again, trying to, um, fix or trying to add to the actual, sort of, like, plaque bit to make me more happy with the house. Um, so I just added sort of like a few of these little, they're really tiny flat back pearls, really tiny ones. Don't ask me what mill they are because I haven't got a clue, all I know is a tiny one. Probably two or three, I don't know, I'm not very good at that. I just buy them, things, but yep, they're nice, I use them. <laughs> the amount of times that I bought things not looking the size, looking at the size of them. And I end up either too big or too small. 
and I think actually I bought these to as to go as um, nail art. These ones, but they were too big for nail art. But I can still use them on on the project. Oh, I can hear the next door neighbor's little doggy barking now. So I'm just adding them. I've got some very tiny little pearl, uh, um, acrylic pearl in cream flowers as well. So I'm just adding them here and there. But even unfortunately, nothing I was doing was <laughs> making me happier um, regarding the. Uh, Maybe what I could do is actually paint the image with some, um, I've got some black chalkboard paint to, uh, to make it look like a proper cameo. That might be an idea. Yeah, also. I have even, before, before I, I've not filmed it, but I did. What I did was I, I had some pearlescent dauber paint, so I added that all over, which got rid of the sort of muddy look. And then I added some cream paint to the background just so that the white sort of pearl dauber paint sort of made the head stand out but you know and then I added a necklace to the neck and a little acrylic bow to the because she's got a ponytail this image or well, it looks like a ponytail anyway so I suppose it's not a particularly vintage image but maybe if I use a fine um, Painted the uh, the inside black, or even just the face bit black. It might. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna have so many layers on me trying to improve. You know, making me happy about. So that's me just coming up to. I've just added some of the um, snow text to the flowers, just again to give it that sort of vintage sort of look. And there's my plaque finished. So I'm just gonna add some. Um, music bit to the end.